Hey friends, um, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to take you guys in the garden today because I have to put up netting for my flowers. So I have a whole row of straw flower and snapdragons and zinnias and bachelor buttons. And last year when I planted them, they were falling over. <laughs> and so I want them to perk up. I want those straight stems. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this netting over the beds so that they can grow through the netting so they can have those straight stems and be healthy and strong and something I can put into a bouquet. So join me today. We're going to go and walk the garden, get a little tour, and I'll show you how I'm doing the netting. Super simple, super easy. It's my dream to grow a small flower farm. So join me. Let's go see. Oh. <laughs> the kids are putting the chicken feet away. So they're like rolling. <laughs> Try me. Whoa! It's like a circus. <laughs> Be careful. They're unloading the grain. Oh, our dirty garden. So, so this is our garden. This is what we added this year. And we're trying to do no-till. As you can see, the weeds are coming up, but we just need to put another thing of wood chips on the pathways so that it can calm those things down. But this row is the row that we're looking at today. These are all of my flowers. And then this is a row of flowers that's gonna be coming up as well. Random volunteer squash. And so I'm just gonna trellis these. These are from last year, they're kind of, eh, I just let them go. But these ones I planted, and so they're kind of more, they're in straighter rows, and so I'm just gonna tuck them up through the netting so that they can just grow up straight. So that's what I'm gonna do with them. We've got like potatoes, potatoes, put them in a stew, and then we have flowers, and then we have cabbages and brassicas and lettuce and then I started some more flowers on the next row and then some more brassicas and there's kohlrabi in there and some random volunteer squashes over here. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put like this mesh over here. We have the mesh going over here on this trellis, but we're just gonna actually flip it so it is flat and so it goes all the way across the top so that those flowers can poke on through and just have that support so they can grow up straight. All right, I'll put the link below where we got this and it's just plastic netting, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put stakes in and then I'll probably just tie it up and then I'll just run these through it. I'll show you. This can also work for like small garden beds, like if you have like a raised box bed or, you know, just like a small space, but you need that extra support. Um, you can also use this for that. You just cut like a little strip off of it and cut it how you want it and then you should be good to go. So it can work in small spaces as well. You don't have to have a massive garden with lots of flowers or vegetables. So don't worry about that. So I just have some simple garden stakes and my trusty hammer. <laughs> from Premier Fencing because it's the only thing I could find. So we're gonna work with what we got. But we're just gonna take them, stake them in, and be good to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I have a couple more steaks in case I need to go like 
right here. But uh, let's see if we can put that netting on. just to see the length of it and how much. So now I'm just gonna go cut it. No. Easy peasy. Gotta go find my scissors. Okay, does anybody else have this problem? I cannot find scissors anywhere. I swear I have like five pairs of them. But my kids use them and sometimes they don't bring them back. I'll find them in the garden are on the hay or somewhere random. So am I the only one here who has this problem? <gasps> Got some. Alright you guys, so I am just going in and tucking up the flowers and kind of straightening things up so nothing's getting bent or crushed or anything like that. So, I'm gonna rearrange everybody and make sure they're good. But that is pretty much what I'm doing tonight. finish this up. Here's to growing flowers with straight stems. Hope this helps you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Okay, bye. Easy, easy on our